Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool Master League. Remember to leave a big thumbs up if you guys are enjoying. Today we're going to uh, get started with the first game against Watford. This will be the starting lineup. A few players that are a bit tired, but I have to play them because we did suffer a loss last episode. Um, maybe I can bring Coutinho in later. I might play Coutinho there. Um, I didn't want to make him captain. How do I switch his position? Square. Um, he's a 79 midfielder. Not bad. I might leave him there because Henderson... And uh, what's his other name? Grujic. Not really doing it for me in that spot. That's the only gap I need to fill, um, I think. And uh, our captain, I didn't mean to change it. I think I'm going to give it to Sturridge. He's been playing pretty well lately. Um, yeah. And uh, you guys wanted me to change Monreal's number as well. So please comment what number that is and I will change it. But basically, I picked this lineup because of the motivation of the players. A lot of players were not up for it. Um, a lot of my starting 11. But... Um, yeah, so I had to risk a few tired players and, and keep some players. Um, I've, I've moved Aubameyang to the right now and brought in Origi on the left. Got rid of Mane to the bench and Mignolet will start over Karius as well. So welcome to Rose Park Stadium for Watford versus Liverpool. Obviously Liverpool coming off uh, a loss to West Ham, which wasn't very good. Hopefully they can recover today. They're just lacking a bit of consistency. Um, it's not that they've been playing bad, they just suffer cheap goals. And hopefully we can fix that today. Here's Holobas. Igalo, Dini. We all know how dangerous those two are. Here's Igalo. Takes a turn. Great finish by Igalo. And Watford go 1-0 up. So Igalo puts Watford 1-0 up. Um, some nice one-twos. And uh, some nice passing around Watford's attack. And uh, Igalo with a great finish. So let's see if we can recover here. We have the quality up front to score goals. We just need to get started. Moreno tries to put it through, ain't gonna happen. Firmino will pick it up. If we can just slot it through, decent, decent. Oh, how did he miss? Coutinho should have been one all. Firmino picked it up and uh, he found a Bamiang. A Bamiang with a nice ball. Maybe I should have chipped it. Maybe Coutinho should have used his right foot. I don't know what he was thinking, but that was a big chance. Firmino wins it off. Now we need some options. Here's Firmino. Aubameyang, he'll get it. We'll play it through to Firmino. We just get there. Maybe a ball across, and no, oh, Yatman cuts it off. We just can't find the player. We played in again. Firmino. Sturridge. Sturridge with a first time and keeper with a good save. Why now him down the left to Moreno, who'll just get there. Moreno can go for a bit of a run. We're looking for a cross. Decent ball, and a Birmingham can't get there. We'll get a second chance over the top. Sturridge with a header, and it's hit the post. How unlucky can you get? A Bamiang wins it. We'll bring it to Moreno. Have a crack, Moreno. Gets blocked. And can we get the throw in? We do. Putting heaps of pressure on Watford right now. And can we get in a cross? Decent ball. We're looking for a header. Good header. A Bamiang grabs a goal. Well done, son. And the pressure was mounting. We are getting chance after chance. And I'm so happy that we got the goal back. Because um, I think we can win this game. So I think it was Wijnaldum who put in a great cross. Aubameyang uh, wasn't going to miss from there. It was a great cross. Found his head. And all he had to do was steer it into the back of the net. Can we get a Matip? We head it straight to them. Here's Dini. One little turn and it could be over just like that. It could have been 2-1 Watford. Win the header with Sturridge. Ain't going to happen. Prudel. He's messing around with it. They're going to go all the way back. One bad pass at the back and it could be over for Watford. We win it again. Firmino just jumps over the ball. I don't know what he was doing. Dini over the top to Igala. We've got to read that. Oh my God, I thought that was in. Luckily, he missed that, man. A big chance at the end of the half. And thankfully, we go in at one all. Firmino does a turn. Oh, that's a great turn. Beats two or three with that turn. Let's play it up to Klein. Aubameyang gets taken out before the ball even reaches his feet. And uh, they'll come back for that one, I think. But we do try and win it. Ain't going to happen. They play a ball into Igalo again. Ah, they got us again. Lovren ain't going to get there. Moreno has to get there, and it's not going to happen. Jeez, that quick little one-two. 
I mean, I didn't want to start with this defense, but no one else was up for it, and that's what happens. So it was a nice one-two between Dini and Igala. We all know how dangerous that combination is. Minule is just not saving nothing today. Unfortunately, Karius' motivation was pretty low, and I didn't want to start him. But Minule just not doing nothing today. So I'm going to have to make some changes. Lovren is absolutely useless. Um, so I'm going to have to bring in Clavan, even though he's not up for it. Could be a bad choice. Um, I I'm going to do it anyway, I guess. Um, we'll see how we go with that. Come on, boys. We need to grab something out of this game. We played over to Sturridge, trying to work something. He'll try and win it, but he gets, like, elbowed or something. I don't know what the hell was going on. Origi wins it off him. Played into Sturridge. Sturridge will turn into Aubameyang. Great ball. Aubameyang can rescue the goal back, and he scores two today. Thank God we reacted quick. Now we've got half an hour to grab the winner. So it was a quick reply from us. Um, Origi did well to win the ball. Sturridge kept calm, turned around, played it to Aubameyang, and Aubameyang with a tidy finish. And now Igalo again going to punish us. But we do well, Coutinho. Well done, mate. Could set us up for another goal here. Here's Sturridge. Cut inside, mate. Sturridge does well. Finish it, Sturridge. Ooh, gets blocked. Coutinho did a bad corner the first time, but let's see if we can do a better one. It's looking good. It's an Aubameyang hat trick. What a way to come back from injury. Aubameyang has saved us this game. And it was a better cross from Coutinho. And Aubameyang with another header today. So thank God Coutinho did a great cross this time. And uh, Aubameyang with another header. This guy loves scoring headers today. And he's rescued the game really for us. So because we've got another game coming up soon, I'm going to bring in Mane for Sturridge just to keep him fit. Um, we're going to bring Mane out on the left. I think that should be alright. And uh, Firmino will come off. He's looking a bit sluggish today. I'm going to bring in Lalana, But I'm going to bring Lalana on the right and Coutinho more attacking. Lalana plays it up. We'll just switch it. We'll switch it over. No need to rush anything. Play it up. Now we can look for some options. We'll play it in. Can we play it over the top? Great ball into Aubameyang. Aubameyang with a chip. It's looking good. And he misses. Unbelievable. Big chance missed by Aubameyang, man. Um, he made a great run. It was a great ball over the top. The keeper came out of fort beautiful, you know. And I don't know how he missed that with the calibre that he's got. Um, but hopefully that doesn't cost us. Keep it away from our half. That is the aim of the game as Igalo picks it up. And wow, we got lucky there. That could have been another goal for Igalo today. But unfortunately, he hits the post. Holobas, Watford putting the pressure on now. Coutinho's had a great game today. And uh, could work something through the middle. Origi with a good run. What's going to happen? We need to finish the game. Origi with a finish. And he's missed another finesse. This guy cannot finesse for crap. It will be disappointing if we go down. But Pez Superstar, they always score them last minutes. And look what happens here. A good finish by Dini and it could be it. And thankfully he misses. Wofford last attack probably. They've got five minutes. They play it back. Holobas. We cut it out. Clear it buddy. Oh we just get it out. And now they bring it out again. Yanmat has read it. Coutinho. Bad pass again. What are we doing boys? Don't do any stupid passes Igalo. Keep him center. Holobas with a finish. Great save by Minule. We've got to wake up boys. One bad pass and it could be over. They play it again. They're struggling. They have a hit. And great save by Minule. Luckily, he parries it all the way to the left. And we will pick up the three points today. We had to work for that. But thank God an Aubameyang hat-trick was enough to win this game. So it was crucial that we got the three points today. And thankfully, um, Aubameyang got a hat-trick today, which was just enough. We really had to work hard for that result. And of course, the man of the match today was Aubameyang. So in other results, Sunderland beat Everton 1-0. Hull beat Swansea 2-0, Spurs beat Leicester 3-0, Liverpool beat Watford 3-2, which is us. Um, Man City beat uh, West Brom 1-0, Arsenal beat West Ham 4-2, United lost to Bournemouth, which is good. Uh, Middlesbrough beat Burnley, Chelsea beat Southampton, and Crystal Palace beat Stoke. So those three points were very important. Now we move up to third again, only two points behind league leaders Chelsea. So here is today's lineup against Swansea. A few players are a little tired, which means Gomez will get his start. Monreal's going to start as well because Moreno's not up for this game. Origi's not up for it, but I'm going to keep him anyway. And we do have Ojo waiting on the bench just in case. Karius makes his return today, and Klein is a little bit tired, but he's going to still play. 
which means I have to bring in a right back, which will be Randall, and he will drop to the bench. Maybe we will get rid of uh, maybe we'll get rid of Moreno. So welcome to Anfield for Liverpool versus Swansea. Liverpool had to work hard for their 3-2 win over Watford in a game where Aubameyang scored three goals, his first hat trick of the season and uh, Liverpool have to get another three points today. It's pretty crucial. They are in third place, two points behind Chelsea, which means if Chelsea or United slip up, uh, Liverpool could go first. Monreal is a bit inconsistent, Monreal. He hasn't really cemented his form yet, um, but I'm continuing to give him some chances as Klein picks it up. Think over the top. They're not marking him. Here's Klein. Played in. Sturridge. Sturridge will pick it up. Sturridge will let it fly, but luckily uh, Swansea block it for their sake. Unlucky for us. We try and cover it. No, they're going to play it over. Here's Dyer. Could be a danger man. Great save. We clear it. Luckily, the rebound did not fall to one of their players. And uh, we bring it out. Here's Origi over to Sturridge. Sturridge has to fight over there. He's not really the tallest bloke. And the centre-backs are pretty strong in, in this game. Um, we do have a Bamiyang making a run. We'll play it down the left again. Could take a good cross and we could go 1-0 up. We play it over, Bamiyang with the header, great save by the keeper. So Coutinho got an assist last time from the corner. He puts it in again, we can't get it. Um, Wijnaldum will pick it up. Maybe play it back to Firmino. Firmino will line a finesse, and he hits it a bit high. He's got to keep our shape. We play ball over the top, Coutinho against Montero. Nice cross, we do cover it. Firmino tries to turn, just gets it out, but it's a bad clearance. Here's Sigurdsson. Dyer, Sigurdsson again, we do cover it, but it's a bad tackle, and now they pick it up again, can we clear it, oh, the bullshit's happening again, the rubbish rebounds are happening, and they almost scored from that, here's Origi, plays it to Sturridge, can we cut inside, great turn by Sturridge, ref, ref, they're imposing him, but he plays it to Aubameyang, and how did he, how did he miss, man, maybe this could be a counter-attacking sort of game, as they lose out again, but we just do those stupid passes, and we give it straight back to them, Sigurdsson makes a run. I mean, not Sigurdsson. I don't know who that was. Borja. And uh, the keeper had to make a good save. Here's Sigurdsson with a cross. Going to have to clear it. They don't clear it, but luckily he misses with the header. Come on, Sacco. Win the header. He does well. Now we can bring it up again. We play it through to Origi. Origi, first time shot, and it's a goal. Thankfully, Origi scores. Finally. A goal for him again. He's just been unlucky. He gets into good positions, but he hasn't been able to finish. But thankfully, I didn't finesse it this time. I just put the power through it and it beat the keeper. Sturridge into Aubameyang. Aubameyang, a nice through ball in to Origi. And uh, Origi on his left foot grabs the finish. Grabs the goal, I mean. So that goal happened right before half time, And it was good timing, I guess. Um, Swansea have to work hard to get a result out of this game in the second half. I feel like we can grab another one as well. Lorente plays it down the right to Dyer, who's been hugging the touchline all game now. And uh, luckily we clear that, which means there's going to be a gap, but we just can't find him. Bad passing, man. That's the only thing that's costing us. Those bad passes when we clear it. So it's important we don't concede, because I do want to win this game. We've got two on him. Aubameyang does well to beat it against one. A great cross and a great header by Lorente. One all. So a pretty cheap goal to concede, but what are you going to do? It was a great cross by Sigurdsson and Lorente with a great header. Karius just couldn't get there in the end. So I really want to get the three points. I don't want to draw today, um, but it's looking like a draw or maybe even a Swansea victory. They might hold back. They are playing away from home. They might just be happy with the draw. I'm not happy with the draw, but I want to go all in. Montero down the left. Another good cross, and it could be over. Oh, my God. Did he actually head it, or did that cross go in? I think he headed it. And all of a sudden, Swansea have got, got two in the space of, like, five minutes. Unbelievable. I don't know what happened there. Montero got it down the left. I don't know if his cross went all the way in. It certainly looked like that. What a header. So all of a sudden, we have gone down. And uh, I'm going to have to make a few changes. As Lalana will come in, Coutinho is going to go down the left. Um, Firmino might come off again for Henderson. He's not up for it, but what are you going to do with these players? We pay them enough, and they're not up for half of these matches. 
Um, I don't know what else to do, really. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell the players to hug the touchline. And let's see if we can get some crosses in. So Gomez picked up a red card. Um, I didn't show you guys because I swore during the thing and I don't want to put any swearing in my videos. We do have one substitution remaining. So Wijnaldum's going to come off. I'm going to bring in Clavan because I don't want to concede any more. Um, and Wijnaldum really isn't an, an attacking option for us. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to play with two midfielders, but both are going to be in the center. And uh, Henderson's going to make his way up as well. And that's what we're going to have to go with. We're going to try and get another goal. Here's Montero. Montero and Dyer, the two most dangerous players. Every team in Pez has that dangerous striker or something that just scores four goals in one game. And it's just been Montero and Dyer as uh, the hug the touchline work there. Coutinho, come on, mate. You've got to be quicker than that. It's absolutely ridiculous how they've got away with that. Now, ball over the top again to Lorente, who can't even run in real life. What are we doing, mate? What are you doing? Go back in the goal. Wow. Lorente can't even run in real life. Did you watch him against Barcelona in the Champions League with Juventus two years ago? He couldn't even run. Montero again with a dangerous cross. Clavan reads it. Come on, boys. We've got to work something, please. Monreal. Look at this. No one is making that run. We find Sacco. What is Sacco doing up? Jesus. Sturridge into Sacco. This could be something. We play it in. We play it in again. Sturridge. Oh, my God. He got a bit too excited there. Kicks are 10 meters over the bar. We win it back. Sturridge. Sturridge again. Referee. Referee. you got to be kidding me. What has happened with this referee today? He's given us nothing. Ah, oh, Sturridge. Come on. They're going to play down the left. Yep. And now they're going to counter us big time. It's Clavon versus Britain. And uh, hopefully we get some numbers back. Great challenge. Play it down the right. Come on. Get a Bamiyang going. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Come on, we can grab one. Like, come on, rescue a point at least. You have all been poor today. I don't understand why they give us two-day fixtures. I just don't find... Why don't they fix this? Why don't the companies fix this? Why are they always giving us two-day two two day fixtures when the players are just tired all the time and it becomes unplayable? As we play through to Aubameyang with a chip, we rescue... No, we don't. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Nothing has gone our way today. Oh, how does he miss? Aubameyang, I paid 50 million for you. And you hit the post with a chip. Monreal, look at this. We've got one minute to try and rescue something. We play it down the left. Don't let it go through your legs. Sturridge will pick it up. Come on, we work something down the right. Sacco, what are you doing? Far out, man. You can't swear, but geez, you would love to. As we go down 2-1. I don't know how it happened, but Swansea beat us 2-1. The referee fell to crap the second half. He didn't give us nothing. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, two-day fixtures. Why don't the companies fix this, you know? Why are they giving us two-day fixtures in Master League? It just doesn't work in real life. You don't see it happening. So in other results, Leicester beat Sunderland. Um, Man City beat Spurs. They're going to overtake us again. Arsenal beat West Brom. Uh, West Ham beat Watford. Bournemouth beat Burnley. Chelsea drew with United. That's a good result for us at the top. Um, Chelsea, I mean Crystal Palace beat Middlesbrough, Everton beat Southampton and Hull beat Stoke. So that loss was pretty big, we are now back to 7th. I don't know what happened, it just went all wrong in the second half. Um, but you know, it's still pretty tight at the top, we've only 3 points behind first, so anything can happen. One result can shoot you up 5 places, but it's just a matter of getting the consistency down. We can't seem to get a string of wins together. Um, we've conceded 21 goals, how the hell does that happen? We've scored 32, we've conceded 21. We have the leakiest defense in the league. Actually, no, we don't. But we're, we've got the the defense that is like the relegation zone defense because they've conceded the same goals as us in the relegation zone. Luckily, we've scored 32, which is the highest. But, you know, our defense is like relegation zone teams. That's unbelievable. And uh, I don't know what to say, boys. Three losses already. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the episode. Sorry, I got a bit salty in the end. I was just a bit frustrated with the last result. But um, I do have a Europa League game next. Now, we already qualified as first place. So should I simulate that game? Let me know down below. I don't really want to play it because I'm sick of the Europa League. We've already won all our games. And uh, 
If we skip that match, that means we can play Stoke and Middlesbrough next episode, which will be two BPL games, which we really, we really like to play, I guess. And, uh, yeah, please leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you guys are new, and let me know what number I should change Monreal's to. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we get a better episode next time. Peace out.